Good morning everybody and welcome to the view from my window. It's 9.30 in the morning and because the glare everything looks kind of washed out to me but we'll just have to see when I download it. As far as the family feud goes my father sent me a lovely email and um you know, he's really into the program, and so, uh, you know, the best advice he can give me is to go to more meetings, and um, that was really sweet of him, and it made me cry even, at least one member of my family hasn't decided that I don't exist anymore. I've been non-personed completely. And you know what? I feel really sorry for my dad now, in retrospect. I felt that way when I uh, left from my visit. That my father was stuck. His whole life he'd been stuck. With my mom, and those kids, and her deal in D.C. And he had no family, for real. His brother moved to Germany. I mean, my dad had no family of his own. He had a cousin. He, he connected with, a, like, a second cousin somewhere. I mean, it was so sad. And now I know how my father felt. I really do, I think. And, you know, I've totally forgiven him for all that. past. He doesn't need to worry about it a bit. So the hero in my life, Dr. Epstein, sent me an email and uh, my rheumatoid factor is through the roof, which I, I could have told you because I wake up every morning and my rheumatiz is really bad. And I have to start moving around for my arthritis feels better. That's the only cure I've ha I've been able to notice. But I don't think we can allow this disease to just run unchecked either. Like my celiac disease ran unchecked for years. I can remember for years telling my mother that my stomach hurt. But, you know, what did she know? This is the woman who uh, gave us uh, um, was it turpentine? A drop of turpentine with sugar? Or was it um, I'm thinking turpentine. Isn't that made from pines? Maybe it was I, I don't think it was kerosene. I'm pretty sure it was like a drop of turpentine with a big spoon full of sugar as a remedy for sore throats. So, I'm sure that did a lot of liver damage and brain damage along the way. Anyway, and the visit with doc the evil Dr. Simonian. Well, he didn't seem evil, but he works for that company that you, I'm sure get, is going to give me a thumbs down. Those guys are, are pretty... He was, he was a pretty old guy, though. And, you know, they know how to keep a poker face real well. Anyway, we'll just have to see what happens. I'm in a lot of pain, physically 
and emotionally. I'm just glad that I've got Dr. Epstein. Robin is on those pills and she's acting crazy on those hormone pills. And, you know, like yesterday I started crying and she just started screaming, Stop crying! Stop crying! And, you know, I was not like her for one thing. Screaming and carrying on. She was screaming into the phone at the, uh, at, um, trying to set up her, uh, trying to set up her, uh, internet. And that's not like her either. So, uh, I think those hormones are making her fucking crazy. And if she continues to take them and doesn't change in her behavior, I'm going to take them and throw them down the toilet. Because I do not need to... Well, there's only room for one crazy person in this house. And that's me. Okay. I got there first. I'm sorry if I drove her crazy or whatever, but... That's just how it is. This video is getting very long. Over and out.